we in Katie's and play two mouse armors. One, two mouse armors. We give resist to the Lawrence. Crazy, and then we take out their Simba. Say goodbye, Simba. I decided to make an abomination of a deck. And here it is, it's mono steel. That means one color, and it's all steel. Check it out, 60 cards, all in the steel type. We have 12 uninkables, and the rest are inkables. We got a bunch of characters, maybe even too many characters. And we have uh, some actions, some locations, some items, and a song. It was starting off as a Titans deck. And then I just kept clicking the add steel buttons. And this is what we came up with. We have plenty of one drops. We have four one drops. Then it gets into the two drops. We have Lawrence the Manservants for three for aggro. And then it gets into our Titans. What does Hades do? I don't know, but let's read. Exert, ready your Titan characters. Oh, and that's cool because we have two Titan characters in Steel. We have Lithos and Pyros. Pyros is a big boy. Um, but boom, pick a fight, rise of Titans. I was just clicking all the Steel buttons I could, and we're going to try to get a win with it. We got Weight Set, Mouse Armor, and Maui's Place of Exile. Plenty of resistance. Plenty of memes. If you're watching this video, we get a win with this deck. Things we learned in this video. Double mouse armor is actually pretty cool. Mono type decks are usually just memes. You can win any game with any deck. All you have to do is believe in yourself. We get paired against a steel song. We're playing against Pixelborn Rock 2G. Who's 2G and why are they rock? And we get the Place of Exile and the Mouse Armor. The Mouse Armor was pretty slow burn. So we are going to mold again for a one drop here. We get Donald, a one drop, a pick a fight, and a Rise of Titans. Rise of Titans, well, I've been the Inkwell, and you already know it's Tiana to the battlefield. They hit us with a greetings, dude. We'll hit them with a greetings. Greetings to you, too. They ink, and out comes a robbity bobbity. We have a let the storm rage on. Do we ink? You say your other bodyguards, that's other musketeers. So he goes into the ink well. Do we welcome our location? Or a bodyguard? Why not? We bodyguard so we can quest. I don't know. What does she do? Chosen character can challenge ready characters this turn. That's pretty cool. We have paid two and Kita can take out Robin Hood next turn. Be kind of cool. They play Mr. Shmee. Do we save Hook for Smee in a twisted turn of events? Ink the Exile. We're kind of scared of the shift Robin Hood. So we take out their Robin Hood. And then we quest because if they don't play a Captain Hook, me dies to that challenge. It's not the coolest things that we're doing, but it's something. We're at three lore, they're at none. They could be at two though. <gasps> Lots of uninkables in our hand. They play the Ariel to get a song and they get Strength of a Raging Fire, which is two damage that they can do, but they don't have enough to sing it this turn because me only costs two. They do decide to go for the uh, knockout on Kida, which means that they perish at the end of their turn. We could do four for a bodyguard here, which would be weird. I 
I think we're going to be extra weird and ink the duck and play two mouse armors and double her up and go on a little quest. I think we just want to be weird. Win by the uh, the confusion. Now we're in their head. They're saying, what, is that really a 1-5 Tiana? It's a 1-3 resist 2 Tiana. It's up to them. Zeus still takes it out, but that's the only thing that takes it out. If she attacks, if Ariel swings into it, does no damage. If they play Let the Storm Rage on and grab the swords, does no damage. They play a queen, they have enough to shift the queen. They play an Ariel. Ariel looks at the top four. Do they find a song? They get Grab Your Sword, which is okay. We take those. I think they're just as confused as we are. We would love to see Ariel sing right here. She doesn't fall for the bait. We get a kidda. We get a bodyguard kidda. And a hook. We're gonna resist one hook. And resist one Tiana. And quest. Because we know they have grab your swords. So grab your swords would take out hook if we didn't resist him. Now he has resist. What are they going to do? Double up for a one drop hook? That'd be silly. They ink bare necessities, which is okay with us. Because if they played it, they would get rid of our pick a fight card. And we like our pick a fight card, especially if they shift the queen. Then we can play pick a fight and uh, Captain Hook can chew, attack ready characters. Like if they don't quest their queen or whatever. Which they might not do. I don't know. That'd be crazy. Our opponent's going to have to really think about what they're doing. Because we're not thinking about what we're doing. The double mouse armor is a mood. They sing and do two damage to our hook. Goodbye, hook. We miss you. Hook was the only threat that they had for um, the three strength Ariels. They still have three ink to play with. We could see a whole nother aerial come into play. But they decide to pass the turn. We get the hook back. Don't mind if I do. We do the same thing. We resist one, we resist one. Do we take out the queen here? And they could exert to take that out. I don't know. Just kind of doing things. And then we pass the turn. We still have our weird card to play. Which we could play it and uh, give Robin Hood resist and then take out, give Hook resist and take out. Oh no! They play a Benja and take out one of our mouse armors. Boo! Can we get a boo in the chat? Probably not. They have their Robin, they're gonna ping this. Take it out. They take it out. Too bad, so sad. And then we can see both of their Ariel swinging Tiana here. Which would be massive value for us. They go ahead and pass. We have two pick a fights now. So we could take out their Benja, or we could take out an Ariel.
It's weird, but that's what we're doing. Do we quest with her, or do we get one damage on him? We quest. And then we pass turn. Weird moves, but we're doing it. Chosen character can challenge ready characters this turn. Say goodbye to your benjas. Grab your swords, almost wipes out our board. Does two damage here, and then they're gonna exert to ping the damage. If we had two mouse armor still, we would have been set. That Benja was just nasty. They play their queen, and it might be GG's from us boys. Give Robin Hood resist. We pass the turn. They get a Cinderella on board. They're questing for six. Huntsman. Two. Location. Can we move to location? Nope. We have a 1-2 Huntsman. Let's see if they have a damaging spell. They quest and give our Huntsman negative 1 attack. And buff their... Cindy... Which is weird that they didn't buff this so they could one-shot the... Oh, does it still one-shot it? Is that a five? Whoa, crazy. Does it retain it? Yeah, it does. That's a nine-five. Nine-five Cinderella. We're hoping to pull Be Prepared here. It's Pyros. We can't even play it. The Mono Steel has been doing too good. I'll be honest, I've played two games so far and we haven't gotten very far. We got like six more last turn, last game. We get to go first. And uh, the double mouse armor was quite a mood indeed. So we're gonna get rid of that, that can be ink. And we liked her. I think we just keep, we get rid of our one weird pick a fight thing and we get a Hades, wow. We get to go first, so you already know that we get rid of Rise of Titans, because what are they gonna do, Lemon Limas? And then we play Tiana. And we pass turn, turn two is gonna be mouse armor. Let's see what they got for their one drops. They ink a Cinderella. Do they play a Cinderella or do they play the Stitch? I don't think they have anything to do with three. All their, their two drops do three. They play a Pluto, which means that we're scared. It means that they got some business. So we got to put out this attacker to be able to take out their Pluto next turn. And we quest for one. Because she has two attack, and two attack will take out a two willpower Pluto. You feel? You jog? You dig? They have one ink. They could play something for three this turn. They ink a stitch. Do they exert their Pluto? They don't. They just play their Ursula to check for a song card. But guess what? We ain't got none. We got mouse armors. And then they're going to look at our hand and say, what the heck is boy doing? Boy don't even. They exert to pay one less, and they play a creature for one. It's Pluto. Wow, wow, wow. We take out the Pluto there. We ink our Rise of Titans. Do we play the Manservant, or do we play our Mouse Armor? I think we play our Manservant, because we don't need Resist right now, especially with that there. We don't need Resist right now. We play our Manservant. Turn four, we can play literally two mouse armors and ink our Hades. 
Goodbye, Hades. Welcome to the Battlefield 2 Mouse Armors. That's what I'm going to say. That's going to be verbatim. They have two ink. They can play something for four ink this turn by exerting their Pluto with his ability. Good dog. I think that this location is the exact same place where Ursula and Eric are getting married in the new cards. They play a Pride Lands, which we say, oh no to. Oh no. Looks like they're gearing up for their Wombo combo. They play a Simba the Pride Lands. And if they move it there, they pay one less for characters. So we're scared. Oh, they do a damage to Kida. Leave Kida alone. But little do they know, we have this one hack. We ink Hades and play two mouse armors. One, two mouse armors. We give resist two to Lawrence. Crazy. And then we take out their Simba. Say goodbye, Simba. And Kida can take out the dog. The little doggy. And then Tiana can take out Ursula. And that was the goal. We passed turn, they gave one more from Pride Lands. And maybe next turn we'll take out Pride Lands, but who knows? They ink a piggy. Good news. And what does the lemon lime do next? They have a Flynn Rider. We sure would like to get a pick a fight as the draw. We get a Kidda, which goes in the inkwell. Welcome to the battlefield. Pyros. We quest Lawrence for two because he's worth two. And Kidda will. Do two damage there. Two and five is a good number. If we do one damage there, that sets us up to take out everything. And then the thing that we want to mouse armor is our Kidda. And then we pass. So Kidda is a uh, two, three, resist two. So almost a two, five. But she has one damage on her. So almost a two, four. But she is a two, three, resist two. Tell me he's a prince. Dude, that's sick. I never thought of that. So Pyros takes out that one. Play the Man Serpent. Definitely should have done that a different way. Especially with Pyros' ability. During your turn, when this character banishes another character in a challenge, you may ready chosen character. So I should have swung into him after I have, like... Quested something, but I didn't. We'll go there and there. A one, two, so we're not going to take out Flynn this turn. And our bodyguard gets resist, and we pass the turn. Definitely should have done that a different way, but we didn't. They play another Chris Merfolk, good for them. If we get a pick a fight on the top deck, that would be our dream. We've discarded no cards. All right. How do we do this? Lawrence quest. Then he takes out that. And then I can already choose in character. So I could ready myself. Should probably be the best. And then I can take out Merfolk. And then when he does that, then I can ready Lawrence. And then Lawrence can quest. And then we do that. Then we go on a big, big little questing spree. And I should have mouse armored one there. So he would have had no damage on him. But that's just what it do be like. And I think we have game on board. Yeah, we do. This is how this deck wins. They hit me with the well played. Don't concede, buddy. Let me quest it. We got a dub. We got a big dub.